Wrap is, in most cases, safe for your paint. It depends on what you're using. You usually want to stick to some form of reputable brand that's been around for a while. Using no-name vinyl that you've never heard of or very rarely ever heard of, not usually a great thing to do, especially on someone else's vehicle. You want to use it on your own, by all means, you take the chance. Now, why don't you want to stray too far away from reputable brands like 3M, Vivid, Avery, and so on? Bigger brands tend to take more time in curing their adhesive. What does that mean? When the adhesive is made, there's solvents involved. And those solvents need to be dried or cured out of the adhesive before the adhesive is applied to the paint. It's important for many reasons. One of them is to make it safe for your paint. No-name brands tend to you know, trying to just make money, you know, maybe they're around for a little while, they come into a market, they get out of the market, they're in other markets. And so they're trying to make some money over a short period of time. And what that means is that they want fairly fast turnaround time in manufacturing, which means then that the solvents are not cured out of the adhesive, which can then deteriorate your clear coat slash paint or other things that you happen to put it on that has a finish or sprayed finish, for example, or a shiny finish, a finish that you basically don't want damage to happen to. I've seen this firsthand. The adhesive stains the paint yellow. The car was white, and I knew right away that it was a no-name brand. The fact that the vinyl is cracking and the fact that the paint had been stained yellow, do those really coincide? No, any film will dry out over time. But over such a short period of time, less than a year, yes, that usually mean that you've been using a cheaper product. Now, vinyls themselves have really stepped up over the years. A lot of no-name vinyl itself is really good. It's the adhesive that can be the problem. The process of actually carrying out the adhesive is much longer and the film needs to be run through, from my understanding, a conveyor about 75 feet long to actually cure out all the solvents from the adhesive. This is why you wanna kinda of stay away from using no-name brands, but generally speaking, paint and vinyl wrap go well together. The risk of actually damaging your paints with a reputable brand is extremely, extremely, extremely low. I've never even seen it happen where the clear coat or the paints or anything else has been eaten or chewed by the adhesive itself. Sometimes things leave glue behind, that's a different story, but that usually means we should have removed the wrap before that happened. Guys, I hope that video helped and describe what that meant.